I literally just finished editing, finalizing, um, my doll tour video because I was bored one day and felt like doing a doll tour and showing off all my Rainbow High doll collection and showing off my Monster High collection and it was fun, I had fun. I'm in the process of it. I finished filming my Rainbow High collection and then I bought like two Shadow High dolls and added them to the collection and then I talked about them for a little bit. And yeah, the same thing's happening here. Uh, it's a Monster High doll, by the way. It's not a G1 doll. It's not a G2, obviously. It's a G3. Another doll they had on sale. Went on, it went on Amazon, actually. It's gonna be crazy because I don't have a G3 Frankie yet. I only have G3 um, Laguna and Dracula. Those are the only G3 dolls I have. I don't have any G2, I just have G1. Which is crazy. This was a doll. I wish I had. And now I finally have them because um because they were on sale for like $15 on Amazon. Amped up Frankie is on sale. Oh my gosh. I love this doll so much. Yeah, yeah. I like them. Random thought, I kind of want to talk about shipping. Oh, like I saw this video and it was like talking about like Torlai and Claudine and they're like oh my god they're such a cute ship and I'm like people ship that? <laughs> I don't know I don't really care for some of the G3 ships. I mean it's not like I don't mind and I get it's a whole new like generation. It's a whole new universe basically. Um you know we're not in the same monster high that we were in like 2014. Shipping's weird when it comes to Monster High. Um, wonkiness, though. No, no wonkiness. Here we go. That's a little bit better. You can't really see my face, but that's okay. That's okay. I love this packaging, though. Like, that's really cool. I like that. I think I'm gonna have to keep... Maybe if I can. Dang it. I wanna keep that. Oh, I'm just gonna set it aside for now. And we will get them out of the box. The accessories. There's so many like accessories. Like, why do we need so many? I don't know. Okay, listen. I respect tiny things. I respect little things. But this, what it? What is the point? What is? What's the point to this? This is a choking hazard. Why? I'm just wondering why. <laughs> um, I also wanted to point out that. I know it's meant for I, mean, I know it's meant for kids, but like, I've seen enough freaking Rainbow High hair dryers that I'm just annoyed at this. Like, I'm tired of the hair dryers because of Rainbow High. Okay, so now that we have a basket full of eight billion accessories that were really hard to get out, um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these. I I mean, I like accessories when I'm, like, doing photos with dolls, but I don't know. I haven't really done doll photo shoots, like, in a long time, just because it's, like, time-consuming, and it's, like, you have tiny little doll things, and I don't know. I just haven't done a good doll photo shoot in a good while. Back. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, um, guitar thing off that is really freaking cool, by the way. So cool. I kind of want to take it off real quick because I want to take a good look at the costume so that means i have to oh, shoot i have to take this off okay that's just an easy twist also uses that neon vinyl stuff that i love so much this thing is really cool it's really neat it's very light air sheesh so i can just get some of this to come out i'm not gonna lie i'm probably <laughs> I almost said girly because I call all my dolls girlies, so honestly, even my boy dolls I call girlies, so you know what, girly. You know the one thing I always love with Frankie is that they always have a tie. I love the tie on everything. It's just let's get a good look. I love that there's always like a way to show off the prosthetic leg as well. Like I literally just realized that this like this one's more exposed, this one's not. 
I do love the boots though. The boots are very like pop. I just forgot that G3 dolls don't come with freaking stands because we'd rather put our money into a billion accessories than a stand. <sighs> it's so annoying. Um, I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna set them up over here. Um, but yeah, so I would just say whenever you're watching this, would you go check Amazon and Target and whenever, wherever you buy dolls and see where the, if there's any of these sales. Um, because this, I found out they were on sale by pure accident. Had no idea that they were on sale. Yeah, um, the accessories, mid. I like this though. Give this doll 10 out of 10. Okay, sorry. I need to film this. I just, I can't. I can't get the smile off my face. I got a book production, Abby! Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so pretty. I've never actually seen original G1 Abby in real life. I don't even care that this is Boo Creep production. Like, I just don't care. It's Abby, and I love her, and she is. I am not kidding. On my Monster High ranking list. She's number one. She's number one. I want to get Spectra at some point. If I can get my hands on Spectra. I really wish I could have gotten Cleo and Deuce, but... $40? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna be careful with opening it. I'm definitely keeping this box. Like, to me, the way I see Bukri Productions is like, even though it's not like the original dolls, they're still original, like they're still re-releases to me. And to me, that's still an opportunity to have the original doll. You know what I mean? Like, it may not be the gosh darn original doll from 2007, but do I care? No. I'm so glad that she comes with a stand, too. Like, to be fair, I don't know where I'm gonna put her yet. I'll figure it out. Her hair. Oh my gosh, her hair. She's got the beautiful tinsel, like the good kind of tinsel. You know what I mean? Like, not the crappy rainbow high tinsel, but like the good tinsel. Like, I'm talking about like Barbie fairytopia tinsel. Like, she's got, hold on, one, one sec, one sec. Literally has the same kind of tinsel that you see in like, which by the way, I just got her um, from Mercari the other day. My one from eBay is coming soon. I'm getting Dandelion. Dandelion's on her way. Okay, nope. Nope, I'm not. I'm not gonna get teary-eyed over this. No, this isn't happening. I need to breathe. Oh my god, I just forgot how to breathe. She's, she literally took my breath away. She literally took my breath away. See, what I always do is gotta remove... I always have to remove the kajinkers or whatever they're called in the back of her head and then I gotta push the plastic bit into their head. <laughs> Something I've always done with dolls, if their kajinker thingies are still like, if it's just like the little, cause like, you know what I mean? The little piece of plastic that just sticks out ever so slightly, specifically rainbow high dolls, I don't like when there's the um, the plastic, when you feel the back of their head there's like a sharp thing of plastic. I don't like that, so I push it in. I push it into the head, so then it's not pokey. Her earrings. I can't. I love, 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 love her earrings. Oh they're, they're mismatched, too. Like, the color and the shape are mismatched. So, I just wanted to compare the two. Oh, hold on. This Abby has got her whole ass. Hold on. Dr. Gorgeous Abby decided to just like, you know, flash us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my thoughts. Oh, I love both of them. Um, oh my gosh, like, there's also like their faces are a little different too. Obviously the difference in lip color. But she's definitely more sparkly, I feel like, compared to her. Maybe it's just different glitter color, maybe? I don't know. I also feel like maybe, maybe I'm just seeing this. I feel like her skin is more blue. Like, ever so slightly darker. Maybe that's just me. Um, I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I always loved Abby's giant hands. 
I actually did. Like, I don't know. I just liked it. Um, man, I just, I really don't know what to say. I also, so I guess we'll start here. I didn't realize that her shoes were like made out of like a rubber material. Like it's actually not like hard. It's kind of rubbery. What I love about her leggings is that her leggings are pink, but because of her blue legs and her blue skin color, did, what did I say? Blue skin color, um, they just look like that shifty kind of iridescent fabric, if you know what I'm talking about. The one that like shifts to pink to blue. Goodness, the fluff, the everything. I love her necklace, by the way. Her necklace is so pretty. The earrings, which by the way, I didn't, I guess I didn't really use, um, Dr. Gorgeous Abby does have the same earrings, but they're the same color. So that's fine to me. I'm just so happy I'm able to have her. I'm so grateful and thankful and everything else. Like she's just my all time favorite doll, favorite character. I just, mm, I love you. I love you so much. I don't know where I'm gonna put her. We'll figure it out. 